So the Mets, who hoped it wouldn't come to this, find themselves having to play one game to decide who moves on. Here's Heidi Watney with the inside scoop. Matt, after failing to wrap up the series in game four, this group of players and coaches appeared resilient. Most of them were already looking forward to this game five. Many of them saying it's exciting to have the chance to play in a winner take all situation. We'll see if they're able to bounce back and fight their way to the LCS. Gene Segura standing in and we are set for baseball here this evening. Leading off tonight for Philadelphia. The short Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Segura. Bottom part of the zone and the slider is in there for a cold strike. 7 6 The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And he pops him up here on 0-2 as this is drifting toward the right side of the infield. And there's the first out. Got it second. The second baseman. Cesar. So next Hernandez. to the plate for the Phils, Cesar Hernandez. In previous duels with DeGrom, he's got eight hits in 41 ABs. He's taken him deep once. Cano is there. Throw to first is going to beat him, though, as they're able to thwart the Bunnetown. That is third. The right fielder, number three. Sliding into the box. Bryce, Bryce Harper. Harper. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. And that misses downstairs for a ball. One and one. Time to take a look at the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Mike Fillmore. Hey, you know, D roll. Mike Fillmore, he'll give a little bit off the edges, but he gets the respect not only from the pitchers, but from the players because his zone is consistent. Yeah, as long as he's consistent, Dan, I'm okay with Mike Fillmore's zone. If a pitcher's pounding that zone, he wants to give a little bit off the outer edge. I'm okay with that. Yanked on the ground down the line. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Hit hard. Foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's fouled away. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Phillies down in order. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Leading up the field of the Mets, the shortstop, Andrew Fair. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Comes at him with the slider there, and he gets the strike. In there, and it's 0-2 now. Not looking good after being down 0-2. I think at the very least, you got to work this pitcher's count a little bit. Try and get back into a decent count where maybe you can come through. One ball and two strikes to count. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Here's a swing and a little tapper in front of the mound. Throw on to first in time, one away. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. Career line against Jared Eikhoff. He's gone two for six. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. McNeil is considered an absolute stud with a bat, particularly against right-handed pitching. Against southpaws, however, he has historically had a lot more difficulty. Two balls and a strike to count. Here's the 2-1 home. He's fallen behind now, 3-1. and one. Waiting his turn on deck, Ioannis Cespedes. Line hard toward right center. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. 
Hey, this guy's having a big series in the postseason. It looks like to me hurt. that the moment no, isn't too big for him. He's slowing yeah, the game down. He looks terrific. Yeah, absolutely. Postseason monster right here. Having a huge series. Any big leader can have their moment mid-May, but to do it when it gets cold outside means everything. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Taken but called a strike. The 1 1 home just catches the inside corner for strike two. McNeil, base runner at first with one out. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. And with two gone now, let's take a look at our up-to-the-minute playoff tree. And you see there, our winner here will get the Colorado Rockies in the NLCS. Next up from New York, Michael Conforto. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A ball and no strikes. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Hey, this is the game within the game right here. The hitter has to decide if he's going to change his game plan. Is he going to stay staunch and wait for him to miss over the heart of the plate or inside, or is he going to adjust his sights and try and drive the ball the other way? This is line to left. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. That's just an excellent job by the batter right there. Three pitches on the outer half of the zone. Didn't try and do too much. Kept the front hip in. Kept the front shoulder in. Played with the opposite side of the field. Quality A.B. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Career line against Jared Eikhoff. He's four for 14. He also has one home run. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Fastball taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. Two and two to the Mets catcher. Here's the two and two. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Inside, he misses ball four. I'll tell you, he's looked unsteady out there since the first pitch. A, great pitch. a couple of hits and a free pass, so he's really searching for an answer to get back on track. We'll see if he can settle down here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Fastball called for strike two. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. Ready on 0-2. Line towards center field. Herrera is there as he makes the catch and they'll tight rope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Mets leave them loaded and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Coming to the plate now Reese Hoskins. He'll get us started in the top of the second. The first baseman number 17 Reese Hoskins. Here's the first pitch to him. Starts things here with a changeup for a called strike. Hey, when one of your better pitches is the straight changeup, you can't be afraid to throw it at any count and at any time. And hey, first pitch, if they're going to take it for strike one, they're going to give it to you. Go ahead and throw it. Lagares is right there, one down. That is it. The center fielder, Ojubo Herrera. 
ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. In previous duels with DeGrom, he's got 12 hits in 51 at bats. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. <laughs> no, that was a pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Up next will be Nick Williams. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Cespedes is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Now at the plate, Dominic Smith. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. The first baseman, Dominic Smith. Here comes the first pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Strike called. Tough to do much with that one. I guess he's really trying to measure that fastball in his first at bat, but you really never want to put yourself in 0 2 count if you could do anything about it. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Herrera on the run. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first down of the Daddy inning. The center fielder. Here's Juan Lagares. Career line against Jared Eikhoff. He hasn't had much success. Just two for 11. He's taken him deep once. Now the pitch. And that's dead center for strike one. Hey, I don't care what league you're in, American, national, if you're playing on Mars, if you get a heater down the middle of the plate as an eight-hole hitter, you better be swinging the bat. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Right, Way outside. One and two. Swing and a little blooper to center. Herrera moving in, but he won't get there. It falls in. Batting nut. No pitcher. Jake Digging in now, Jacob DeGrom. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And they'll put the tag on him going to first, but the sacrifice is successful. Sacrifice was in order right there as he gets the bunt down right there. And sometimes it's easier to just tag him instead of making that throw to first base. In now is Andrelton Simmons. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. Curveball just misses apparently. 1 and 0. Oh. 1 and 1 to the Mets leadoff hitter. In for strike two. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. And Franco will make the catch to retire the side. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. To complete scoreless here on MLB Network. So coming to the plate, JT Real Muto. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Cano has a play, makes the play one away.
batting eight. Coming the to the plate now, Michael Franco. Michael Franco. First delivery to him on the way. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. I mean, these guys look more like lumberjacks than professional hitters right now. They're hacking at everything. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. Third inning, no score to this point. The next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to 1 and 2 now. Okay, so now is where I think you pull the string. Throw the El Cambio up there. Hasn't seen it yet, and I think he's set up for it right here. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are Got two away. The pitcher. Jared so bases are empty here Eikhoff. with two gone, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Jared Eikhoff. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. The 1-1 one, one home. It is strike two swinging. Swing and a liner. But this will find the shortstop's glove for the third out of the inning. Phillies down in order. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jeff McNeil. One for one after a single this first time up. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball just missed above the zone. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Now the one and one pitch is in there for the second strike. Hey that's a great job by the pitcher right there stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball and now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. Heading out towards shallow right Harper on the run. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The left fielder number 52. Go ahead. So one man yeah, gone for the Mets in the third. And up next, the big RBI-minded bat of Ioannis Cespedes. First offering on its way. Hard on the ground towards short. Segura has it. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. The right fielder, number 40. Marcio. Bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. First pitch of the at bat. Curve ball inside corner drops in for a strike. That's a tough pitch right there. Curve ball kind of front hit. Your first move is to bail a little bit and kind of not want to get hit by that pitch. I can totally understand him taking that first strike. Count now a ball and a strike. And that misses two and one. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. This will kick up against the wall now. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Yeah, some guys have the ability to rise the occasion, while some guys shrink away when it matters the most. Well, this guy is a gamer. He's been on fire since the postseason started, and after that hit, it looks like he doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. In now, Wilson Ramos. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. One oh is a curveball that's over for strike one. Hey I watched Tom Glavin master throwing change ups inside to right handed batters and getting them to pull it foul. If this guy can command that front hip curveball he's going to go to it all game two and one to count. Ready with the two one. 
He's fallen behind now, three and one. I don't know why in the world anybody would want to be an umpire. That manager has given this umpire an earful on a pitch that he thought was a strike, and he's certainly trying to defend his pitcher. Oh, and that line is gone. Great support from his infield, though, as that's the third out. Weird way to end the inning. Danger averted following the two-out double. Three innings in the books, no score on MLB Network. Stepping into the box, Gene Segura back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Line to the right side, but he will come on strong out there in right and pull this one down for the first out. Now batter, second base. Cesar. Into the box, Cesar Hernandez. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Well, if you're looking for pop, he definitely has more pop, more home run potential hitting from the left side. This is his power side. One ball, no strikes to count. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. Soft grounder left side. Cano's got to hurry. Throw gets him. Two down. Here's Bryce Harper now. And then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Harper behind with an 0-2 count now. This is what makes him so dangerous as a pitcher. Five weapons that he can go to, and he's working ahead in the count. This is a tough matchup. Ooh, tough to lay off there, but it's called a ball one and two. Boy, it's hard to sit on an 0-2 fastball. I think. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Here's Robbie Cano now. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0. It's laid off, but in there for strike one. That's a real good job of going back-to-back -back fastballs right there. Most of the time, a hitter will see a fastball in the inside half of the plate, and they'll just think, well, this pitcher's going to go back on the outside. But when you double up like he did right there, it sends a message to the hitter that you're not afraid to throw in that inner half of the plate. Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's 3-1. and one. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in the scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. And that misses for ball four. The leadoff walk that Number starts the bottom of the fourth. Number 22. Digging Dominic. in, Dominic Smith comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. He's set and the pitch. Laid off the bender there, but it's in for a called strike. In the dirt here. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, now might be a good time to make a visit to the mound. Your pitcher walks the first batter and allows him to get into scoring position with the wild pitch. Got to settle him down and make sure everything's all right physically. The 1-1. One, one. Line towards center field. Catch made in straightaway center as the runner tags from second. But he gets back in time safe at second base. Now batting. The center fielder. Whoa. Runner in scoring position at second with one away. And that'll bring up a former gold glover. Here's Juan Lagares. 
First pitch coming. Here it is. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find the zone. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. Two and one to Juan Ligares. The two one home bends into the zone for a strike. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Harper. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. The ball. So we're in scoring good. position with two Take men go. gone. And that'll bring up the converted shortstop from his days at Stetson University, Jacob DeGrom. From the stretch, here's the pitch. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. Cano stands at second with two gone. And it's one and one. Mets pitcher behind at the plate with a ball and two strikes. Hey, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself, and nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team. Been watching the pitcher drive in a run. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Mets leave one through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. Leading off for Philadelphia, the first baseman, number 17. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Strike taken up in the zone. And there's ball one. The one one home. Misses ball two. That's strike two on a well placed change up around the knees. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with the changeup. McNeil right there. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Up next for Philadelphia. Ready for Odubel another Odubel. chance? Odubel Herrera. He'll look to bounce Odubel. back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. 0 oh, 1 the count. The wind up and the 0 oh, 1. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 oh, 2. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well, and it's a big reason why he's had success. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. A look at our line score to this point, and I'm almost oh, certainly jinxing things by the pointing it out, but it's worth yeah. mentioning that zero yeah. in the hit column through two outs here in the fifth. Digging in to try it again, Nick Williams. He flew out in his last at bat. First delivery to him on the way. Fouled off. Here's the 0 1. Popped up. Simmons is under it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Phillies down in order. Halfway home, still no score. Digging in once again, Andrelton Simmons. Over for two for him to this point. Not your stop. Andrelton. First pitch of the at bat on its way. They'll start him with a breaking ball. Too low that time. It's ball one. That's wide, two and zero. Oh. 
Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. 3-0 and to him now. A three ball, one strike count to the Mets shortstop. And there's a called strike at the knees as he was hoping for a base on balls there, but it's a full count now, three and two. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Well, that was a slider in a 3-2 count. Now it just didn't tempt Number him enough six. to get a good swing. A good job of pitch recognition and knowing the strike zone to draw the free pass there. First offering on its way. A ball and no strikes. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. One ball, one strike, the count. And he misses two and one. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third, and no swing. It's ball three. Off is Simmons, and he won't have to contend with the throw as that misses for ball four. First and second the now to start the inning. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. Digging in, Joanna Cespedes. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. He's set. Here it comes. In there for strike one. You're on the mound in this situation. You only have two options. You got to find a way to strike this next guy out or get him to ground into a double play. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitches to hit either. This starter has kept the ball in the corners of the zone all game long. On to first, and Cespedes grounds into a double play. Right now what you expect from your three-hole hitter when the right first goal. two guys get on base, Guns that's pretty down. deflating. But now we'll see if the cleanup guy can still pick up the runner at third. Standing in now, Michael Conforto, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. A ball and a strike. Conforto behind a ball and two strikes. Drilled on the ground is short. There's Segura. Throw in time, and the side is retired. A couple of walks, but no damage. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. So digging in now, JT Wilmuto. He'll lead things off here in the Philadelphia sixth. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit. They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. And he looks at a change up in there one and one.
swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. The one two locks him up for strike three. I'll tell you right now, this guy has a shutout going, and it's been all now business. He's not messing around thing. trying to pick at corners. He's being aggressive in the zone, and he's attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Changeup called strike one. Phillies are still looking to crack into the hit column in this one. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing in two. The discipline has just been completely absent from this offense. Seems like they're always finding themselves behind the count, and a big reason why is they're swinging at all kinds of stuff that's not even in the strike zone. Hit on the ground to third. There's Cano. And there's out number two. Now that it. Next the to hit will be the pitcher, Jared, Jared Eikhoff. Eikhoff. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he fouls this one off. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. That wasn't a terrible pitch right there, but if he's going to execute and get this swing and a miss, he's going to have to get that ball a little bit free. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing a base hit. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. We are still scoreless. At the plate, Wilson Ramos will start things out against Jared Eikhoff as this inning gets underway. Here comes the first pitch. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Two balls and no strikes to Ramos. From the windup, the 2 0 pitch. And this one's over at the knees, 2 and 1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Herrera is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. The third baseman, number 24. Into the box Robinson. now, Robinson Cano. Cano. It was a walk in his last trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. One out, nobody on. Hard on the ground toward short. Throw to first, and Cano's a ground out victim. Two gone. The first baseman, number 22. At the plate, Dominic Smith hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next AB. A ball and a strike to the Mets' first baseman. No runs, four hits, and no errors on the Mets' line score so far. And there's ball two now. And with just five and two thirds innings under his belt, he's about to hit the century mark in his pitch count now. Yeah, Matty V, and the way baseball is played these days, it's about six innings or 100 heaves, and you're pretty much looking for that bullpen. And D Row, right now, this guy's pretty vulnerable right now at this game. Yeah, Dan, you are a monster down that bullpen. That's what it seems to be in today's game. There's five or six of you guys hanging out down there. So he's going to empty the bucket right here until the manager gets him. He loses him on all four. Well, they've been unable to get to this guy, so they'll take base runners any way they can get him. At the very least, you make him work from the stretch and add to his pitch total. Right. 
ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. You can clearly see that the hitter didn't like that strike call. And his manager, he didn't like it either as he's given the umpire an earful from that dugout. Behind 0-2 now. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Hit back up the middle. Segura to his left. He's there. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Met strand one. Still no score. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Gene Segura. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. And that was one of the hardest hit balls they've had all game, Matty. It's been a pretty feeble effort by his teammates on the offensive side. Fouled away. The 1 1 home is in there for strike number two. Wow, there's a pitch right there that this guy would like to have back. Very rarely do you see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle, and boy, he took that one. He'd like to have that one back and be able to take a good hack at that pitch. The one-two. Now a ball hit towards Simmons at short. He's got it. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The batter, the second baseman, Cesar. Hernandez. Digging in the switch hitter, Cesar Hernandez. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First delivery to him on the way. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. To me, getting ahead 0 1, it's the most important pitch in the game, Matty. It puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1 0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1 1 when you're down 0 1 your head's on a swivel bases are empty one man out and he struck him out strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him it's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base now, that, and that's just what they the did right field. there big strikeout right. keep that guy off the base Perfect. path. And now Bryce Harper. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. And that's a base hit. So the perfect game bid ends in the seventh. Ah, so he was able to take it into the, the seventh, base, but the no-hit bid is going to end here Please. with two out in oh, inning number seven. Boy, and Matty, this is when you start really thinking about a no-hitter once you get into the seventh. And it's hard not to look past getting through that last out, but Dero, it just wasn't meant to be here with two outs in the seventh. No, he's pitched a heck of a game, without question. You can't deny that. But this offense is going to stay on the attack. We'll see if this manager turns it over to the bullpen or allows this guy to finish it on his own. Now, time is called, and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. From the stretch. And it's fouled away. Well, that was a big two out single we just saw, and for pretty obvious reasons. The inning went from totally under control to now. He's got to deal with some dangerous hitters here with a runner on base, and this is how two out rallies start. Fouled off. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. Yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Low with a fastball that time, two balls and two strikes. Here now the 2 2. And he fouls this one off. Working for the punch out and the offering. And another foul ball. Hey, this is a heck of a battle right here. Long A.B. You know what? They find him. Swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it.
one left for Philadelphia. And this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Frazier is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. Frazier. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Now a fastball that's taken close that time but it's one and one. The one one home. Taken strike two. Breaking ball misses the corner two balls and two strikes. Well that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it but the execution was nice. The three two pitch. Count still full three and two. And he lays off ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Show some great no patience in this one, making Stop. the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. Stepping in now, Andrelton Simmons. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Here's the one one. And it's one and two. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Throw will hold him at second, but the go-ahead runs in scoring position now with still now nobody out. Number six. Stepping into the box, Jeff McNeil. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with the runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. Into center field, and that's going to get down for the base hit. Frazier rounds the corner and is headed home. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Dan, you'll take RBIs any way you can get them, but when they give your team the lead in the late innings, man, that feels good. Oh, it especially does, especially when you start to score runs late in the game off of quality pitching. When runs are at a premium, that's one that makes you feel really good about yourself. Here comes the Philly skipper on his way out toward the mound. And it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. He'll leave after six and at the very least kept his club in it to this point. Your Sir Anthony Dominguez please. comes on now, now in an awfully difficult situation as there Number are two on here with nobody out. Dominguez. Here's you on Cespedes. Been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game Matt especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Here's the first pitch to him. Popped up. Hernandez waits on it. One down. The right fielder, number 30. Michael. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Michael Conforto. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First pitch coming, here it is. And oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike, nothing in one. 
You like the modern style of baseball. Here it is. Both starters kept their teams in the game. It's close right now. Now we hand it over to the nasty bullpens. Let's see what matchups are going to take place. Oh, and two. Here it comes. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Dominguez is known in part as a reliever with a, a clutch factor, perhaps. An escape artist is another way to put it. Regardless, he seems to be at his best when pressed up into difficult situations, which is kind of what you want out of a bullpen arm. No doubt about it, Matty V. And I call a guy like this troubleshooters. Guys that you can bring into a game with runners in scoring position. They don't panic. They keep the game at a slow pace. And more importantly, they make good pitches to good hitters to get out of tough situations. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Oh, and that one slung through the strike zone that time at 98 0 oh 1. And that misses 1 and 1. Runners at the corners, two men out. Strike two as the hanging slider was let go. Lays off two and two now. This kind of hitter right here, we call this guy a grinder. What are grinders? They just kind of foul off some good pitches. They they lay off the pitches just off the plate. This is every pitcher's nightmare. A guy that's up there with a plan and not just up there swinging at anything that you throw towards home plate. Skied into straightaway right. Harper has a read on it. And that's the third out. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Mets lead it one to nothing. Ladies Justin and Wilson has been summoned from please. the bullpen as he'll do now so to start the eight. The number 38. Justin. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Starting, starting to run out of time. They the haven't been able to score any oh, runs oh. as we're moving Herrera. late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Ready with the 0 2. Got him. And that's the third time we've written the K next to his name in this one. Pitching certainly has been on display in this one, and there's the evidence of it right there. One nothing our score, as there are an awful lot of zeros on that line score to this point. Striding in once again, Nick Williams. 0 for 2 for him so far. He's flied out and popped out. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Fouled away. Wilson, a California-born ball player. He was a fifth-round pick during the 2008 draft. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. Throw, and he's called out on the close play at first. JT. Digging in now for Philadelphia. JT Real Muto. No hits to this point. First pitch of the at bat. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. Real Muto behind with an 0 and 2 count now. One pitch away from wrapping up a very good innings work out of the bullpen here. And here's a slider that runs inside that time and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Swing and a liner. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. Now batting, third baseman, Michael 
So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that means Michael Franco, the third baseman, will bat next. First delivery to him on the way. Now a bit of a hanger, but it's laid off and called a strike. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Real Muto is off of first with two away. Misses ball two. When a pitch is close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at bats. He's done a great Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Billy Strand one. It remains one nothing. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Jose Alvarez is on to the pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Now pitching and batting in the eighth line. Number 50. Standing in, Robinson Cano in prior at bats against Jose Alvarez. He's got three base hits in 18 at bats. John Kingery. First pitch on its way. A changeup floats outside here for ball one. It's a base hit, so a chance for some important insurance here to kick off the bottom of the eighth. The first baseman, number 22. So Dominic. stepping in, Dominic Smith. Over two with a walk for him so far. Keon Broxton will come on now and now pinch run for here. For the Mets. Number 23. Now a snap throw to first. Runner is back. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that's taken for strike one. Nobody out. Runner on first. And he'll snap one over to first. And he's back standing. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. One and two to Dominic Smith. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Scooped up. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. And the off-balance throw will be too late. So a good effort that time, but it's an infield single. You know, D-Row, sometimes one of your best friends are your own teammates right there. Good hustle from first base to beat that throw to second. And guess what? He bought his battery, made a knock. Yeah, he definitely bought him a knock. You know what else he's going to buy him? He's going to buy him dinner on the road at some point because that's some significant hustle right there. It was a nice play. The internal clock of the defender thought he still had a chance at second. Wasn't meant to be. Juan Ligares is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. 0 oh and 1, here it comes. Missed low and inside with it. 1 and 1. Now a spin and a throw back to second, and he's back in standing. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Now a look and a throw back to second, and he's back easily. First and second here with nobody out. No offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at two and two. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he's in safely at third as a run.
Brown will score on the play as well. Well, they already have the lead, but that extra run makes a huge difference. Even if it's only psychological, the pitcher knows when he steps out there that he has a little bit of wiggle room to work with. But Danny Echevarria will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. for the bat. Number 25, Danny Echevarria. Now a shot toward the gap in left center. As he arrives at second without a play, as they also score a pair of runs on the play. Yeah, nowadays the number of punches will call that a high leverage at bat. Not exactly sure what that means, but what I do know is they just doubled their lead, so he clutched up big time right there. Pat Nisha is on the pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. Andrelton Simmons will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be doing so with the runner in scoring position and still nobody out. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit hard down the right field line, but foul. A one pitch on its way. Liner towards second, but an atom ball right to him for the first down. Now battle. Number 10. Ready once again, Jeff McNeil. He's two for three and looking for more here. He's set and the pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. Echevarria, a runner at second with one away. Down the first baseline, but that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Two once more. A bouncer to the left side. Segura fields it cleanly. Throw in time at first for route number two. The left fielder, the Next for the Mets, Joanna Cespedes. His career numbers against Pat Nishak. He's just two for nine. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Hit hard to the right side. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hole, 0 and 2. That pitch was so slow it barely registered on the radar gun. Yeah, Matt. We don't see too many pitches crawling to the plate like that, especially these days. That can be a really tough pitch for a hitter to wait back on. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Now a long throw home. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Well, that that run won't be charged three. against him, but Let's he's go. still disappointed. His run, job is to shut go. the door down when they call on him, and he just couldn't get it done there. And next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, Michael Conforto, trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a liner. And that'll get down for a base hit. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Into the box now, Wilson Ramos. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. Hit the other way out toward right field. Harper has a read on it, and the inning is over. 
Nine men come to the plate. Four score. The fifth and final game moves to the ninth inning now. It's the Mets five and the Phillies nothing. Keon Broxton please. is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Edwin Diaz comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Now pitching for the New York Mets, number 39, Edward Diaz. Leading off for the Phillies, the third baseman. Jed Lowry has come into the ball game now as he takes over as the new third baseman. Now playing third base. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. Wow. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. And look at this a bunt attempt to start the ninth, but a foul ball, one and one. Now the one and two pitch and a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right the there. He might have been two. sitting on an off speed Short pitch, but instead he gets the fastball the way late. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Into the box, Gene Segura, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Oh, and that is right down the middle for strike two. Oh, that changeup came in at 89 miles an hour. You know a guy throws hard when his off speed is in the high 80s. Now the one and two pitch. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Stepping in Cesar Hernandez and their season hangs in the balance here as they're down to their final out. No balls and a strike to count. Swing and he pops him up. This should do it. And the Mets have taken their first step. They're headed to the NL Championship Series. My advice to them is to enjoy this moment, celebrate with teammates, and then realize that none of it will matter if they don't get back to work in the NLCS. They've wet their beaks with this postseason success. Now they want some more. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance, kept the opposition at bay, and as a result, he's our top player of the game. Look at the numbers. This is what you want from your starting pitcher. He gave them seven strong innings and sets things up perfectly for the bullpen to seal the deal. Very good job out there. 